Hello, I'm Kathleen Hall, and this is The Way I See It. I'm Ken Pierre, and this is The Way I See It. Uh, what I hope we could talk about today, I saw an article, and I, I work at two schools. I work at South Atlanta High School, uh, which is a predominantly African-American black community. And then I also uh, volunteer at Cross Keys, which is what, I think it's 98.5, maybe 99% Latin. Very different cultures and amazing schools, which I love very much. Ken's been to both of them, too. Love them. And um, what we wanted to talk about was music becoming extinct. And it's very terrifying that in the budgets in these states, in this country, that, w that these legislators and these people, and I don't know who's running the school systems, but how they can expedite and think one of the budget items they can cut out is music in our schools for children. Yeah, um, and even some of the schools have cut out uh, English classes and English grammar in, in colleges now in favor of teaching them uh, keyboard and other things for technological for programming, skills. programming, yes, coding. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. So but back to our music is I, I just can't imagine when I was young and I played the trumpet. Me but too. Did you really? Yeah, in the band. Who knew that? We're going to talk about this before. We never have. Um, it is that I had a very challenging, very, 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 very violent, difficult childhood, and I cannot imagine... Mrs. Frank and the group of uh, people that taught me instruments and music and band, if I wouldn't have had that to go to every day. I loved it. I, I couldn't imagine it either. Yes. And what would have happened when I wanted to do horrible things to myself and I was going through horrible stages, if I wouldn't have, I'm going to tell my age here, have had the Temptations and the Beatles and all kinds of Motown stuff going on where you rocked and you went to another world uh, he and I were just singing, sitting in the morning sun. But what, I, I mean, this it is a crisis. It is. I I don't even know where to begin because I, what, I started in middle school with, with a trumpet and I was just immersed in it. Like, I wanted to know everything about it. I Like, it really took me away from the real Worries, world. Worries, yeah. Like, I mean, around yeah. that time, my dad died. You know, I played the trumpet at his funeral in Trinidad. Like, or when the saints go marching in. Seriously. I'll never forget that. Like, See? Oh, I didn't know that. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, like, music was, music has always been the heart of me. Like, even to this day, all my friends know, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, that's where it began. I mean, of course, in the household, but to actually learn, like, chords, keys, like, you know, articulating with your tongue, like... All of these things were tools that and, you learned in the And don't band. you think that people like us would sit in class with, you know, worried about your parents, worried about, because we both had challenging childhood. But you got into that band class, and you were free. Yeah, you? I loved it. And and other the other thing is, is there's some reasons we really need to keep band, too. Things like community. Yeah. That no matter what happened, I may not have liked one of the kids in grammar class or whatever, but when we played trumpets beside each other and the person who played the tuba or whatever was going on, we were one community, weren't we? It's always bigger than you. It, it is. And also, I think the reverent respect we had for the teacher. Don't of you think? course. The band teacher that when you were off key or doing this, they guided you and knew something was going on. Exactly. There's something that happens, don't you think, that's magical in, in that space that if we take it out of schools and keep cutting these budgets... It, it's it to me. It's the core. It should be part of the core of curriculum. Yeah, I agree. Like that builds your your diversity. Yes. Their characteristics of a, a person. Like you know, everyone in the world loves music. It's kind of it's the universal language. And also, we have studies, of course, that show that you know you actually score better on SAT tests. Mm. Uh, you. Um, uh, in intelligence tests or in scoring and all kinds of other tests, you score higher. You mo use more right-left brain because you use that creative, but you're learning notes, learning words, so it's right-left brain connection. Um, and, and we know that more kids finish school that of are in course. band because you don't want to drop out. Yeah. It makes you're sense, You're really a part it? of a community. Absolutely. They learn in a different way, and they're emotion more emotionally stable. I know mm -hmm. that my music stabilized me that really when I was nuts and... <laughs> you know, a teenager and horrible things that were going on, mm. I know that I could come in that class, play my heart out, because, you know, and a trumpet is so visceral that when I left there, it wasn't it. It was like, Just, um, I don't know what to say. It was this energy balancing freedom. Yeah. It, it was. It perfect. was the place That's you could be words. free. Yeah. And, um, and your heart is so connected to music. 
Always, always yeah. has been. So, so it would be like taking the intellectual part where I was doing math and science and we all do that, mm -hmm. that when you go to the music, yes, it was part intellectual, the notes, the music and the other things, but it kind of led with our hearts. Always, always, always. Your heart, I just feel like that's the cadence to your life. Absolutely. Whatever mu music you listen to, that creates how you how you go throughout the life. Right. And then I went on to, um, you know, piano and voice mm. and actually competed in state competitions. Um and, and all of that, though, kept me sane, hmm. kept me focused and centered, and I knew I would survive. So I, I, anyway, so all of you out there that, uh, whether it's your local schools or you need to write a legislator yeah. or anything else, I think the call to action for all of us is to let the school superintendents and everything be vigilant. We have to keep, don't you think, we have to we keep music in schools. music in schools. That, it's paramount. And also, kids don't have a voice. It's us. It's the adults that are looking at the school boards, that are looking at the legislatures, the states that are cutting this back. We have to be the voice for these kids. I agree. Because um, they d we're older in different spectrums of our life, so we can see what it did. Yeah. They're in that pure stage of development. Adolescence. Yes. Right. And it is our responsibility to develop these brains and their hearts and their souls. I think we'll come up with something. Yeah. So. My name is Ken Pierre. This is the way that I see it. And I'm Kathleen Hall. This is the way I see it. And thanks for joining us today. You guys have a great day.